Good afternoon. Thank you for choosing KTAB News at 5. With coverage you can count on, I'm Brittany Paletz. The cause of the deadly apartment fire in South Abilene is still under investigation, but Abilene firefighters believe it was accidental in nature. That is your top story today at 5. There are heavy hearts today as the Hardy family, Abilene Fire family, and many in the community mourn the loss of a four-year-old boy who did not survive the fire. In this picture, you see brothers, nine-year-old Aiden and his little brother, four-year-old Liam Hardy. We brought you the heartbreaking details of Liam's passing last night on KTAB News at 10. Now, the boy's mother is still hospitalized in Lubbock at a burn unit. Aiden Hardy is out of the out of the hospital at Hendrick Medical Center and is now staying with family. Well, more than uh, 20 people are displaced because of the fire. The Red Cross is helping those families. AFD is not releasing the name of the Abilene firefighter who was injured at this time, but they do confirm the eight year veteran has been released from the hospital. No signs of arson. The official cause, however, has yet to be determined. Now we want to remind you of where this fire happened. It was about 1030 on Wednesday morning at the Warwick apartment complex on the 2400 block of Arrowhead Drive. Today, the Abilene Fire Department invited the media to a news conference to bring you the latest developments from the deadly fire. Stacy, you were there. What did you find out? Well, Brittany, there was a lot of information given by officials in regards to this devastating fire, including what may have led up to it. Now, Captain Williams with the Abilene Fire Marshal's office gave logistics on the actual fire, saying it originated from the living room. He also recounted a conversation with the oldest brother, Aiden, and what he says he remembers about the fire. He was awoken to a commotion. Whenever he opened his door from his bedroom, he looked into the living room and saw heavy smoke and fire. His mother was there with a fire extinguisher and attempting to extinguish the fire. William says he is hoping to learn more information about what led up to the fire, but that all depends on the recovery of Mother Ashley. She is, of course, still in the hospital in Lubbock with severe burns over 80% of her body. Fire Chief Larry Bell also spoke today about how his firefighters are handling it. The outpouring of community support has truly been overwhelming and we're thankful for that. We have a, a chaplain that helps in those respects. We have some resources. In fact, a good portion of our evening last night was going and checking on those crews. Along with praising his firefighter, who braved the conditions to pull out four-year-old Liam. Chief Bell also spoke about the two strangers who risked their lives to help pull out mom Ashley. Bell says they are planning to honor them at a later date.